दीदी यू सेट दैट वी नीड एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू वर्क ऑन द प्रोग्राम इन अ कम्प्यूटर कैन यू टेल मी मोर अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम श्योर रोहन लेट्स डिस्कस मोर अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अ प्रोग्राम दैट हेल्प्स अस इंटरेक्ट विद अदर कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम्स एंड कंप्यूटर इज यूजलेस विदाउट एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वर्क्स एज एन इंटरफेस बिटवीन द यूजर एंड कंप्यूटर ऑल अदर प्रोग्राम्स नीड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू स्टार्ट देम बट द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम स्टार्ट्स बाय इट सेल्फ The operating system starts the computer automatically when power is turned on. The major functions of the operating system are it controls and coordinates the operation of a computer, it eases the interaction between you and the computer, it controls input and output devices, it controls execution of computer programs. it manages the use of the main memory of computer it helps you to manage and manipulate files the operating system can be classified into two types character user interface and graphical user interface let us discuss one by one about them character user interface does not have any icons or images it works using only text and characters We can perform tasks on CUI by giving commands in texts such as rename CLS, CD, MD and DIR or directory. An example of CUI is the disk operating system. A graphical user interface has background picture as well as many icons. Examples of GUI are Windows XP, Windows NT, Windows 7 and Ubuntu The GUI can be further classified into proprietary software and free or open source software Proprietary software is a computer software type which is licensed under exclusive legal right of the copyright holder The usage of proprietary software requires licensing with a free attached and can be used only with a registered license The user is not allowed to modify share study and redistribute them The most common type of proprietary software is Microsoft Apple in IBM operating systems and unisys free or open source software is software which can be downloaded by the user from the internet free of cost it is provided under an open source license that allows the user to modify improve and distribute the software freely however the changes cannot be copyrighted the most common type of open source software is unix linux aurora ux and open solaris Let's learn about Microsoft Windows which is one of the most popular operating system. Oh yes, I have heard so much about Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Windows is a series of graphical interface operating systems developed, marketed and sold by Microsoft. Most of the computers that we use come with pre-installed operating system of Microsoft Windows. In case you have a computer system without the Windows operating system, you can buy a licensed software from an authentic seller of the software. An alternative method of obtaining the software could be through online websites such as Microsoft's website. The GUI interface helps you to use programs and keep them organized. Windows are a WYSI WYG type of GUI, which means what you see is what you get. If the operating system in your computer is Windows, the first screen that appears after switching on your computer is the desktop. You can use the Windows desktop to keep all the applications and utilities organized in the computer. The desktop is divided into two areas: main area or the desktop and the taskbar. The narrow strip at the bottom is called the taskbar. The taskbar contains a start button that you can use to access all the programs of the computer the desktop has a background 
which is called wallpaper. The first screen that you get when you start and log on to your computer is called desktop. The small pictures on the desktop are called desktop icons. These icons represent shortcut for files, programs and folders which could be quickly and easily accessed. The horizontal bar at the very bottom of the screen is called the taskbar. The taskbar contains many icons and shortcuts. The taskbar displays all the running applications and programs as icons. It also helps you access many applications and programs in the computer through these icons. The taskbar provides an easy way to switch between multiple programs running on the computer. If a number of applications are running and there is not enough space available on the taskbar to keep all the icons, then similar types of icons can also be grouped together. Through the start button, you can access programs and other system utilities. The control panel in the start menu is used to change various hardware and software settings in your computer. The help and support menu item in the start menu is used to get any help needed while working with Windows. With the help of start menu, you can shut down, log off or restart the computer with just a click. You can also change the time and date of the system by these steps. First, click on the date and time present on the right side of the taskbar. After this, a clock and a calendar appear. Then, click on the change date and time settings link. After that, click on the change date and time button. Then, set date and time. Click OK to save changes and return to the date and time dialog box. Click OK on the date and time dialog box to save changes and close the dialog box.